Previously in the laboratory, we shrunk every single player on an NFL team to under one foot. The players were literally as big as a football. And today, we have this. <laughs> we freaking have this. Like, imagine Patrick Mahomes in real life, but this big. We're gonna play a game with a team full of giants just like this Patrick Mahomes and just try to freaking break the game in general. I mean, what does this channel turn into, honestly? But after some more in-depth, like, research, we all have learned together that Patrick Mahomes is literally from the White House. So I guess that kind of explains everything how good he is because he's literally from the White House But as you guys see Patrick Mahomes is rather quite big He is a very very big boy to where you can't even see his head on this screen now the entire Kansas City Chiefs team is 10 foot 7 Absolute Giants and we're today gonna play a game with this 10 foot 7 team and just see how crazy it gets We'll like, be able to see if we literally can throw the ball up like a Hail Mary like every single play and see if they catch it. It's just going to be interesting nonetheless. Is it every single player like this? Like even Tyreek Hill, is he going to? Yep, <laughs> he's a big boy. Actually, let me go ahead and start a franchise with this team. Let's see if this did work in franchise mode. So if we go into the roster, he's still 10 foot and he looks normal here. But in the small team video, they look normal here. But once we go to edit player... Is he going to be... Yep, he's he's a big boy. <laughs> he's a freaking very big boy. Can you, like, imagine the... Never mind. Not going to go there. Hold on, I got one more idea. I have one more idea if this works. I'm going to be happy. So if we go into change role, we go to player and use a current active player. Let's just use Patrick Mahomes. Let's see what this is about to look like. Is it going to be... No, it's a normal Patrick Mahomes. Okay. All right. I see you playing some hardball, Madden. So obviously we're using the Chiefs, but what team do we play against? Let's just do random like three times. One, two, three. And the Texans. Or a rematch of the AFC Divisional Round game where the Texans choked everything. But guys, really quick, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't because if and only if we do it 600k subscribers by the launch of Madden 21 we're going to be giving away a total of 10 copies of the game to my subscribers and subscribers only so make sure to take that millisecond that it does take to click that subscription button if you haven't also one more quick little thing if you've not became a member yet I'm doing a special this week where if you just join even at the lowest tier you will be involved in my Q&A the first Q&A video will be this upcoming Friday everybody in turn and higher gets their question answered in the video 100% but this week and this week only even the ones in the lowest tier do have a chance to be in the Q&A to ask a question and have me answer their questions so make sure to join as a member if you have it link in the description box below or you can just click the join button that should be under the video or go to the member tab on my YouTube channel as it's time I'm just excited to see how big these players look in comparison to the normal players oh I didn't even think about it if you guys want to see a video of the very small team a full team of players under one foot Versus this freaking giant team, that would be an absolute freaking stinker. If you guys want to see that one, 5,000 likes, and you'll see that in a few days. I have so many ideas, too. I want to see if, like, the, the small guys, 12-inch players, could actually freaking, like, catch a Hail Mary over one of these tall giants. As with that, like, everybody looks normal here. But once we go to kickoff... Yep. Oh my god, dog. That is a giant boy. There's no way they should catch a pass against this. Unless these players, since they're so big, are like very slow. This is about to be so much fun, dude. This is already, this is already making me so happy. And the other part you guys haven't seen yet, if you're new to these experiments, the one thing we always make sure we do every single video is the ball is authentic corn kernels. The football is corn. Like, where else do you get content like this? Because, man, I wish we were on offense first. There's no way. Uh-oh, what just happened? What's the flag for? That's not good. Offside, don't tell me every single play there's going to be an offside. Franklin, Franklin Clark, come on now. Now that's going to be annoying if every single play the defensive line goes offside. That's going to be so annoying. Is that, Yeah, uh-oh, that's a problem. That, that might be a rather big freaking problem. Hold on, are they like actually offside every single play? Come on, dog. Like, obviously, you're offside, man. Your hand is on the other side of the corn. Like, obviously, you're offside, you moron. Maybe, unfortunately, oh, yeah, we're gonna have to go and make all the D linemen normal sized. I'm so upset. I'm so upset, man. It's already offside. <laughs> God dang it. So, 
This is all about experiments, it's all about learning, it's all about overcoming. So attempt number two, we're on offense, and unfortunately, it's the first out of 25, so I had the game minimized, and I was trying to do something else. So let's try this out. First things first, dude. We, we've got to audible to a pass play. We've got to throw this ball deep because, I mean, dog, if you can't catch the ball 10 foot 7 of like a 5 foot 9, 5 foot 10 cornerback, like something's wrong. What are we offside for? Oh my. He dropped the corn. Offside on the defense. Why is everybody going offside? Why does everybody not like playing onside against the big people? Like, can we just all collectively agree not to go offside? Can I, like, turn off sides off or something? Because I'm tired of this. Penalties? Offside, yeah, thank God. But I'm still absolutely perplexed how Sammy Watkins didn't catch that football. He's offside again, dude? I thought I turned it off. He's so open. He's so open. Bro, it hits them in the back. It's offside again. It's just, oh my God, dang believable. Can you please catch the football? It hits them in the chest. They're too ignorant to actually freaking put their hands where the ball is. It just hits them in the chest every time. And like, dude, just let me turn penalties off. That's about to make me so mad. So I'm actually going to try to go into settings in the main menu because this is making me so mad, dude. So if we go into penalties here, so can we please set offsides to never? Please, dear God. And I know it probably has literally nothing to do with anything, but I'm choosing a different team to play against Jags randomly. That's who we're playing against today. And also, I don't know if it has anything to do with anything, but I'm putting it on all pro instead. Why? Because I want to. Oh, I completely forgot. I went and traded for all the small defensive linemen to hopefully not cause offside. Guys, what do you know? A play without offsides. I'm so happy. Although we can't, we go. Oh no, the, the big players are not good. They're very clunky. Dive, dude. You're. That's just not how I wanted this thing to start. Maybe though we can block a field goal. Cause to be fair, like all he has to do is stick his hand up. Come on, Hitchens, please. Just they're good for nothing. It, it's still, it's still calling offside. Like this is insane. Idea. I'm gonna be a gentleman, and every single play, I'm just gonna have to manually decline the offside penalty because I don't know what you want me to do. He caught the corn! Yes! It happened! Oh man, he actually caught the freaking corn. I'm a ha I've gotta see this replay though, to be fair. I just gotta see what actually happened. <laughs> this is this is so funky. <laughs> it is so freaking funky. So I'm guessing. Because, like, obviously, like, look at the corn in his hand. That's funny. But, like, I'm guessing because of how the game is, like, where the ball actually gets thrown to is where a normal player would have the ball thrown to. But since these players are huge, they stick their hands up high. But this ball was caught by his thigh. I don't know how his thigh made possession, but it did. Oh man, this has been a stinker. Had some technical difficulties, and now here we are. And last thing I did was I did trade for a new offensive line, so there's no offsides. Hope to God, because this is my last attempt. If this goes wrong, I'm just gonna call it quits and go to sleep for the rest of the day, because this has been a stinker. Can we at least, like, not allow a touchdown in the first place? Thank you. I mean, they've got to be somewhat fast. We get a sack, thank God. Maybe finally things are moving forward. Bro, imagine Tyron Matthew with how good he already is being 10 foot 7. Uh, there we are. There's the freaking offside penalty. I love it. That's just unfortunate. It was an offside regardless. So that's the first down. Come on, please. Oh, he's... Yeah. It's just, they're not very elusive. Oh, he actually caught the kickoff. He's a fast boy and a big boy. Can't tackle the big boy. No way. No way. This is actually... Okay, so he didn't bring it all the way back, but I'll take that. B's wide open. He caught the ball. Tyreek, he actually caught that ball. Let's go, Tyreek. Okay, now, now the juices are flowing. Now the serotonin's popping. Now we're getting all excited. Now the adrenaline is rushing a little bit, because actually... 45 minutes into the recording, things are looking good. As I just want to see, I think Tyreek Hill, he, he caught the ball with his penis. So we've got to put Sammy Watkins on a fade. We've just got to. Like, you've got to be able to catch that. Dude, you, like, he doesn't, it's so weird. Like, they don't go up with their hands. Like, they do, but, like, their hands don't follow the football. Like, they don't look at where the football is. Like, Patrick Mahomes doesn't place it right to a 10-foot-7 man. 
He places it where a five foot, like normal human being should be. What about the field goal? How funky is this gonna be? Is he gonna miss the freaking kick or something? For all I know, he probably will. Oh, offside. Yeah, offside, because my normal offensive linemen were back. I guess that's fair. I can't wait till they actually throw a deep pass, because, I mean, there's just no way. We're 10 foot 7, right? Speak of the god dang devil. That's the best player introductions ever. This freaking moron. So you're telling me now I need, I, there's probably like one defense I need to find that doesn't have anybody near the line of scrimmage that's a big boy. Gotta consciously remember to literally play the entire defense back the entire game, aside from the floating hair particles. <laughs> okay, physics just got defied there. All oh, the slant wide freaking open. They might be big, but they can't freaking cover. What else can they not do? They can't freaking stay on side. Like, imagine being so bad that literally the offside penalty is turned off, yet you still get caught offside. Like, that's just the state of my life right now. Ah, oh, Jesus. We're going to lose probably like 500 points. Wow, I, <laughs> that's so funny. That is actually <laughs> so goddamn funny. Can I watch a replay? Oh man, I can't. So I sim the extra point and they block the field goal. I wonder if that's the case. So how do they block it? How do they know in terms of height? Like in the simulation they can block it, but in the actual gameplay they can't block it. That's so funny. I wanted just to simulate one drive on offense to see if like they're unstoppable, like they throw a pass every play. They're running the football. Like, is it, are they moving the ball because of the Chiefs against the Jags? Are they moving the football because they're 10 foot 7 in simulation? They actually are, are effective. But because when I'm playing, they're not effective. What so freaking ever? So they actually score a touchdown. Well, how about defense? Okay, this I promise. I just want to see how the defense is. So it looks like the defense is good. So maybe it, the moral of the story is, I just, it just is me. So you knew it was bound to happen. Like, we've got to test out a Hail Mary. Like, it's just got to be a possibility here. Like, you have five 10 foot seven guys. Like, one of them's got to freaking come down with it. Like, they just, they look at this. It has got to, right? That ball almost was... Did the ball get intercepted? There's just not, that's just not a like, possible outcome. That, it happened. I never in a million years thought I'd throw a football or actually I'm throwing a cornball into, you know, a pile of five 10 foot seven receivers and I did not expect it to get intercepted. And I just now started to think like, why are the players on the sidelines so small? <laughs> Watch this. Watch what I just discovered about the floating seaweed. So once you start the replay, the hair is normal like it should be. Like, yeah, he's a tiny boy, but his, his hair is big, but shouldn't be that big, like relative to his body. But once you start the play, it gets funky. It gets funky and there's no going back. There's just no going back from the floating funky. You would just think, you know, you would think that they could cover a little bit better. So at least finally the height did something good. Are they gonna run the ball? No, please. Just one stop. One stop, please. Okay, once again, he didn't do anything. It was just his body. Like, there's like nobody even remotely close to him. Please, I, I gotta beg. Like, this is just moronic. Like, part of me really just wants to win, but then another part of me just thinks this whole entire team is completely useless, so they deserve to lose. But I'll get roasted if, if I don't win. I'm gonna try another possession catch. Possession catch? Possession catch may be the move, my boys. Like, how can he be so goddamn useless? Please, please. He caught it again. Yes. They have no deep safety, so we're just chunking this ball deep to Tyree Kill or Sammy Watkins, which everyone gets more open down the field. It's, it's Watkins for sure. You are a pathetic human being. So this sucks. I, I want to guess from the middle, try to get a safety, but I can't have anybody on the line of scrimmage where they're going to get offside. So I got to play back, but at the same time, guess from the middle. It's just useless. So useless. Come on, please, 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 please. I, I beg, dude. Like, why? I guess, what? Can somebody get a sack today or tomorrow? Bro, you are pathetic. Keep in mind, We've had the Jacksonville Jaguars go almost 99 yards. Like, honestly, dude, at this point, you would have a better chance at winning with the small team, the team of players under one foot tall, than you would have with this team. They're just so bad. So I do know the definition of insanity is attempting the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I guess at this point, I am insane. Because I just... I, am I giving these guys too much credit? Yes, I... Wow. I am perplexed at this result. Absolutely freaking perplexed. How did 
I, out of all the balls I've thrown today, I would not have been upset if that was an interception and that one got caught. Please, Daryl Williams, stay in bounds. He did. We're so close, dude. We're, we're four yards away. I just, I just want to score one touchdown, dude. That's just literally all I want right now. Just one. Like, you would think I should be confident. Oh, we did it. We actually did it. I really don't know what's driven me to throw a Hail Mary here, you know, with 13 seconds left to go in a two-point conversion, but we've made it to this point. And it actually worked. It actually freaking worked. So now you want to start catching the football, you morons. How about an onside kick? Now this is going to be funky. This is for sure going to be funky. Now let's see what, what, can we actually recover this? That would make me pretty happy. Not even close. Well boys, I guess the moral of today's story is bigger is not always better.